Hey there Ospreys, welcome to another campus update with Inside Swoop. I'm Eric Benitez, here to bring you up to date with what's going on this week. Whether you know a lot about golf or nothing at all, Top Golf is still a guaranteed fun time. Top Golf is a game that anyone can play. At the venue, you can reserve a bay where you and friends can relax, order food and drinks, and practice your driving skills. To score points, you have to hit microchip golf balls out into a field of dartboard-like targets. And the closer you get to your get your ball to the bullseye, and the farther you drive the ball, the more points you earn. Top Golf is a game welcome to all skill levels, so come out and play. Jacksonville's cue ball billiards prides itself on being a bit different from other pool halls, as a place families and kids can come to play without worry. Patrons can rent pool tables and pl uh, play rounds of darts or order drinks at the full service sports bar. Whether you're game for a late night drink with friends or just an afternoon with the family, cue ball has you covered. It's open until 2 a.m. and located in Beach Boulevard's Park Place, less than 10 minutes from UNF campus. If you see the giant orange dinosaur statue, you're in the right place. We now go to our field reporter, Matthew Glover, at Walter Jones Park. Put on your most comfy shoes and visit Walter Jones Park, which is Jacksonville's first historical park. The 10-acre park has lots of trails to walk and plenty of places to rest and take pictures with your friends and family. On park property, there is Mandarin Museum and Historic Society, where you can go to learn about the Civil War from the Union's perspective. This is Matthew Glover, Inside Swoop. Whether you're looking for a place to go on a peaceful walk, have a family picnic, or for the kids to play, there's no better spot in Jacksonville than Ed Austin Regional Park. This 144-acre site on McCormick Road has everything you need to spend a fulfilling afternoon. It's scattered with fields for baseball, soccer, and football. It has, a bat it has basketball courts, a skate park, a beautiful walking trail, a dog park, a playground, and more. One of its main attractions is the 18-hole disc golf course that's perfect for casual and competitive play. We spoke to one of the park goers about why they enjoy coming here. Well, we have a backyard that's not big enough to walk, or like our dogs play around in it, so we come out here to walk them, let them run around, get their energy out. One of Jacksonville's most popular attractions is Jack's Beach. Not only can you lay out for a tan and go for a swim, but there are other activities such as using the free beach volleyball courts, taking a walk on the pier, grabbing a bite to eat, or going out for drinks with friends at the beach bars. Jack's Beach also has a beachfront amphitheater, amphitheater where local pop-up events, concerts, and festivals take place. If you are interested in, in any upcoming events, check out jacksonvillebeach.org. While you're visiting Walter Jones Park, you might as well also stop at the Mandarin Store and Post Office because it's only about five minutes away. The Mandarin Store and Post Office was in operation from 1911 until 1964 and is listed in the U.S. National Register of Historic Places. Be sure to check out the historic site next time you're in the area. Over on Old St. Augustine Road, you can visit Jacksonville's one and only board game cafe. Java Game House is a locally owned hangout that houses hundreds of board games lined up from wall to wall, all available either to rent or buy. After renting a table, your party gains unlimited access to the entire library of games. They also specialize in trading card games like Magic and Pokemon and often host official tournaments. If you're unfamiliar with the rules, don't worry. The staff will happily give you the rundown. In the St. John's Town Center, you can find one of the more popular burger joints in Jacksonville, M Shack. They specialize in casual food and drinks like burgers, fries, hot dogs, and milkshakes. With TVs in nearly every corner and a bar area, M Shack is a great family dining restaurant as well as a hangout spot to enjoy a sports game with friends. M Shack also offers customers the option to eat outside. Well, that's another edition of Inside Swoop. Tune in next time for more campus information. I'm Eric Benitez. Thank you for joining me on Inside Swoop.